Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to UV coat your own cube. So today I'm UV coating a YS3M, but you can UV coat any cube that I guess isn't already UV coated. So the stuff you're going to need is a paper towel or something like that. Um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 12 small cardboard pieces that are skinny. And I use. To get these, I used, like, a box, like, um, the V5 box, really skinny cardboard like that. So you're gonna need 12 of those. Um, gelish, top it off, soak off gel polish is what I use. Um, rubbing alcohol, and a black light, and an LED light, or just, like, a light is normal and your cube so when you're doing this you're gonna want to kind of dim lights um or just lights off right now I'm not doing that because terrible lighting when I don't do that it's terrible anyways because I have some lights off but so the first thing you're gonna do is just wipe it down quick because you do not want dust um on this and beforehand you can spray the air with a water bottle or like a spray bottle to get all the dust particles off so just wipe that down and make sure it's clean and if you guys want to um, watch other videos on this go to the cube themist he has plenty of good videos on there um, on how to UV coat cubes so make sure it's dry nice and next you're going to put in your slips so if you've used the same slips on other sides then you're going to want to wipe them down and dry them because it doesn't work very well when they're not dry and these keep the like uv coating stuff seeping through and i use um and well these are yeah and uh oh what's gonna say Make sure you get one around the center, so it's like this, around each edge and corner, and then one around each side of the center. But leave one gap open, I'll just show you how to do that, or why. So, I've UV coded a cube before, this is my um, fifth side on this cube, so I guess I have some experience. Alright, so you're gonna get all of the edges and corners, and leave one gap in the middle so you can, like, paint over, so you can really get that center cap. Alright, so now what you're gonna do is, um... So make sure you still have another one to put in, and you're gonna get your UV coating, and uh, what ha the amount I like to do on each is, yeah, alright, so like, just one big, like, drop or whatever that it holds, and spread it around a bit, and then just do a quick dip in and add that on too. And then you can, if you want, like, wipe some off. Um, and then you're just gonna do that on all the, um, pieces.
and then when you get there you can do the uh, center and the last edge And then when you've done every piece, you're going to put in that last cardboard piece in between the center. Oh. Just make sure you got the whole thing. Alright, and now you're going to put it somewhere where dust can't fall on it. And wait about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes um, uh, for it to self level, level with no light. Make sure it's not like super hot. It's like a cool dark area. Okay, so once it's been sitting, now what you can do is um, get your flashlights, um, black light and I think LED, and you can shine on it for uh, I two minutes about, about two minutes, you can do more, it wouldn't hurt. Um, but yeah, so just shine your light on it for two minutes, and like you can shine it on one specific piece, and just make sure you get the whole side, and I'll get back to you when I finish that. Alright, so I've had it under the light for about, um, three minutes, because you can't, um, nothing wrong with doing extra, so now you're going to take out your cardboard pieces. So... Um, when you take them out, try not to be touching the surface because you don't want to accidentally get fingerprints. So I just peel them off on the side, get your fingernail, or just take them out like that. And when I do this, I like to have my cube tight so then, uh, less of the UV coating stuff leaks in. There we go, and then get the center one. Now what you're going to do is wipe it down with alcohol, or rubbing alcohol. Because it will not work unless you do this, so don't be worried if it's, if you're touching it and it's sticky. You're going to have to wipe this down quite a bit. So you can look at the shine. Let me see if I can get that. I'll get it later. But I'm gonna get a little more here. Okay. But here you're gonna need to wipe it down because this is part of the curing process. It won't cure unless you do this. So it's not wiping it off really, maybe only just a bit, but some other brands it's just done and it won't look perfect. But this brand you need to wipe it down so then you can get it perfectly smooth. If you want to know more about that, just go to um, the Keep Themis. That's where I learned it from. So I'm going to wipe this down for like two, three minutes, really. This is a pretty important step. So it's looking really good here, actually. Let me see there. Thought I saw something. Alright, so I'll just see if there's a fingerprint on it. And there's a small one. Still a bit sticky, so I'm gonna rub it some more. Maybe get some more of this.
Yep, this is looking really good. Alright, so I think I got it good. So I'm gonna just use the dry part of this and just dry it off. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, let's see if I can get you guys a good view. This is hard to do because I only have one light on. Okay, let's. Oh, there's some. Sorry, guys. It's kind of hard to get. There, you're getting it there. Alright. So, yeah, that side looks really nice. So, um, if you want, you can wipe it down, but I like to just wipe it down whenever I'm done. And right now it turns really bad because some is going to leak in. Um, and also because I have it on, like, really tight settings. But I'm going to get back to you guys when I finish, um, the whole thing. I finished UV coating the last side, and I took it apart and wiped it all down because it's really gunky, and now is when you're going to want to start putting it together and lubing it, tensioning it the way you want, and uh, get back to you when I do that. So I finally finished um, uh, customizing this cube, and I lubed it with Martian and Stardust. And it's on the uh, strongest setting or tightest setting. And this cube feels very nice. UV coating is really good. Let me see if I can get this. Right there. Yep. So it looks really nice. Feels really nice. And this cube is really good. And you can obviously do this with almost any cube. I've done this with the V5. Um, that cube turned out really nice. And if you want to customize it even more, you can get a maglev kit and put maglev in it. And I don't even know what else you could do. But it makes um, your cube have a better grip. And really overall a different feeling. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments down below. Bye.